I'm using an anatomical model of a leg. This is the lateral side, posterior, and anterior. We have 15 muscles in the gluteal region that move the femur, and they all originate on the pelvis and insert in the femur. First, we have the gluteus maximus, which is the largest extensor of the thigh. Deep to the gluteus maximus, we have the gluteus medius and minimus. They are not shown on this model, but both would be located approximately here, deeper to these structures, and they're both fan-shaped. Their functions are extension of the thigh for the gluteus maximus, and the gluteus medius and minimus function in abduction and medial rotation of the femur. On the lateral aspect of the leg, we also have the TFL, tensor fascia lata. When you combine the tensor fascia lata with the muscles, especially of the gluteal region, and its tendon, that will turn into the ITB, iliotibial band, which is just this area located here at the lateral knee. The function of the tensor fascia lata is hip flexion and abduction. Going back deep to the glute maximus, we have a number of structures in a fan shape coming out from the femur. The piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus at number 14, a little bit smaller there. Inferior gemellus at 15, obturator externus at 16, and the quadratus. So piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, obturator externus, and quadratus. P, go, go, Q is your mnemonic. And that entire area, all of those muscles, function in lateral <coughs> rotation of the femur.